Welcome back to What If Deku Was Antilamon, Part 4. Last where we left off, we were talking about Ice Devimon's plan and the introduction of Puppetmon. So, Puppetmon and Antilamon are heading to I Island, while Ice Devimon is watching over Aerie, their new master, you could say. On the way there, Puppetmon decides to ask a few questions to Antilamon. So what exactly are the main threats we're dealing with here, Antilamon? What we're dealing with is, uh, the heroes, the villains, and a whole lot more. You could say the entire world is our enemy, yet it isn't at the same time. That doesn't really answer my question. To be the main part... Just the heroes and villains are our enemies. Nothing else, really. Thank you. So what will I be doing at I Island? Simple. Once I get David's shield and we escape, you watch over her daughter. Or his daughter. So that way we have cooperation from him. We'll only be needing him for a short amount of time to put up the digital field to where the digital era will rise. Yeah, so you just need him to make the digital field the zone. That way we can go ahead and expand it on our own. Right? Precisely. We cannot set it up ourselves. That's why we need one of we need someone as smart as David Shield to set it up for us. It'll be a place where we can live and do our operations from, of course. And the only person that will be able to enter the digital field will be Aerie. We already created a device for such, for this such zone that Aerie is able to travel through. Interesting. And y'all, we can open and come out any time of this zone, correct? Yes, precisely, Puppetmon. Good. I think that would be great. Especially, I'll just use some of the other heroes as puppets, or the security guards as puppets, to keep an eye on. David's daughter? Yes. That would be a splendid idea, Puppetmon. I may even make some new friends. As he's messing with a small puppet. Now, be easy right now. We'll have other Digimon like us to our ranks very shortly. But for the time being, us three will be known as the three digital masters of the digital world. As Eri, the lord of the digital world. Since that's what we've agreed upon. Hmm. Maybe we should add a fourth member to the... to it, because I don't like an odd number. I'll think about it. Oh, we're here. As they arrive at I Island, they were on a supply boat. So they were in crates. As they're unloaded, and Antilamon and Puppetmon get out. Yeah, I'm so glad we have that stealth capability. You really don't. I do. Fair point. But you're keeping me cloaked for the meantime, right? Yes, of course. As they're walking around Isle Island, trying to find David's shield. As they are just wandering through the entirety of the island. As Pokemon finds something interesting. As we go to him singing into a laboratory. As he calls, Hey, Antilamon. You mind if I create a Digimon here? Why? I think Meshidramon would be his name. I think I'd create that Digimon here. While I watch over Melissa. The resources here are vast, and the underground sections of I Island are never used. Hmm. Do as you please. While you're here. And remember, if you make... Hey, machine Digimon, like, M machine Dramon is what you're making, right? Yes, I 
plan to make him at least. Just remember, don't have him going on the loose until it's the time for the plan to be executed. Oh, why, of course, Antilamon. As Antilamon is still searching for David Shield on this island, I island. <sighs> How hard is it to find someone as smart as David Shield on this place? And she keeps walking around until she spots David Shield. There you are. As she grabs David Shield and starts running, as the security goes off, as she's jumping as fast to get to uh, the boat, as Pokemon is just in his own little area, where he's already connected some cameras and is watching. Okay, there's a boat leaving in exactly two minutes. If you can reach it, you should be able to get it. Thank you, Puppet Mon. I probably should have created a sea Digimon to help us out here. As Antilamon jumps with David Shield through the Isle Island, let me go! Sorry, I cannot do that. As you are needed for our plan. As she jumps, destroying stuff while she walks, or jumping, as she lands on the boat. Take us back to Japan now, or I'll slice this vessel in half. As the driver does as told, as the security is planning to go out, well, Pokemon is just sitting in the back of a chair. Uh, I don't think so. As he, put, as he pressed a button, as the entire port closes, yeah, that should take an hour before they manage to catch up. Or at least get a... He's got a head start of an hour. As Atiyamon is with David. What do you want from me? Oh, just let me be simple. I'll tell you once we get back to my headquarters. But for the weed time, he knocks David Shield out. She knocks David Shield out. We go with the heroes, meeting up. So who exactly are these two? Ice Devimon and Antilamon. They showed up at the U.S. the sports festival. <laughs> it looks like they are. They have some sort of mutation type quarks with different abilities. Ice Devimon seems to have the power of ice, while Antilamon can strengthen her body, as well as hard her skin. As they start going over details about them and where they could be at, as a notification comes in, David Shield has just been kidnapped. As All Might gets up and says, "What? By who? The Atilamon villain." As this news spreads around to the heroes, as they hurriedly try to get to the port, but Atilamon redirects their path to a different location. As they arrive, she destroys the boat and with it, the person that was driving it to to leave no evidence. She gets off David Shield and gets to the headquarters. As he puts David Shield in a room, as she sits down on the floor, while Ice Devimon comes in. Ah, I see you managed to capture David Shield. It was easy, really. They say it's top security. But they can't even bypass my invisibility. Although, I had to deactivate the invisibility because I could not cloak him, unfortunately. That's fine. Now, you'll make us something special, David Shield. And why would I help you, villains? Simple. As I say, Mom puts on a screen. This is your daughter, right? Leave her out of this. Oh, I'm afraid we can't do that. You either make us this digital zone, or my little friend, Puppetmon, will deal with her. That's impossible. You were the only one on the island. No, I stuck another friend on, and he's observing your daughter right now. Also, 
Ice Devimon, we'll have a new Digimon join our ranks quite soon. Oh, really? As David Shield is listening. Machine Dramon. Puppetmon would uh, want to make him. Mas Machine Dramon. I'm fine with that. I already let him know it was the okay. Especially by the time they find Puppetmon and Machine Dramon. It'll be too late. Now, you either make us this zone, or else your daughter doesn't make it. Alright, I'll do it. As he starts working on the digital zone. Oh yes. I want you to make it like this for the starting part of the digital zone. A wasteland with rocks and a machine area in the middle of like a machine city. Can you do that? As David Shield nods his head and gets to work. Ah, this is going splendidly. Don't you think I stab him on? Yes. But thumb, some things are not falling into place. As Aerie walks out, yawning, I'll go see what she needs. You stay here with David Shield, I stab him on. As Edilamon goes to Ari, What do you need, Ari? I'm hungry. Oh, just a moment. I'll get you some food. As Edilamon goes to grab Ari food, we go to the heroes who have arrived at the port waiting for Edilamon and David Shield to arrive. But it's too late. They're already gone. Uh, how did they even get to I Island un undetected? As a lot of heroes are caught to plane. Doesn't care, we need to find them. Okay, I was doing some research. Yes, Eraserhead? It seems that they leave some sort of trail of data is what they leave behind, I think. But I can't be sure, so tracking them will take a bit of time. But I think we should investigate I Island a bit to see how they got in. As they say, fine. As uh, Eraserhead and some other heroes go to I Island to investigate. As it takes them a little bit. And a day has passed. As we go to Puppetmon, building Machine Dramon. Ah, uh, yes, everything's going according to plan. Although it will take another two days for your completion. At least your consciousness is set up. <laughs> I see you made me, Puppet Mon. So what is exactly have you made me for? We're having you join the Digimon era. As Machine Dramon, your body will be fully built in code in just a few days. Then you'll join our ranks. As Machine Dramon smiles, an error, an era of the digital era, you say. Yes, where us Digimon will rule on top. His machine Dramon smiles. As you say, I will wait for my completion. Just don't take too long. Right, right. You do consume metal to go get stronger, don't you? Yes. So just, it will take some time. So just rest, relax, and watch the show. As Puppet Mon is just watching the heroes that had arrived investigate. Even if they find me, it'll be too late. Machine Dramon already moved you to another location. Quite a while ago. As they were talking through recordings to each other. Now... To keep an eye on Melissa Shield, as he switches cameras to another view, where she sees Melissa Shield, and one thing that Poet Mon is going to do is make sure she doesn't leave the island. So they're going to investigate probably a few days here, then they may take Melissa Shield back to UA or something. If they try to do that, I'll shut down the entire program and put the entire I island on lockdown. That way, 
There's no escape. <laughs> As Putmon laughed. And we go back to, let's say, Ice Devimon talking with David Shield. So how long do you think it'll take to get the digital field up? Uh, maybe a few days, maybe a week. Mm -hmm. Fine. You better work fast, though. Because if it takes more than a week, you could say bye to your daughter. As Ice Devimon walks out, and freezes the exit, so David Shield can't escape. <coughs> As he walks out, it sees Aerie playing with Antilamon. As Antilamon's happy to play with Aerie, messing with her. Ah, it seems you have a fondness for kids, Antilamon. As Antilamon is shocked, as she looks over to Ice Devimon. I guess I do have a softness for children. But especially for Aerie. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Although, Puppetmon is doing his part. Can you make another Digimon? <sighs> I presumed you would say that. I've been trying. The, I've made the body. Or the body set up. But, making him is a different question. It'll take me a bit, a while, probably a month. Very well. Once we get to the digital field, it should take a lot less time to make Digimon, correct? Of course, since the digital field is mostly data, we could easily make Digimon there. Good. Anything else we probably could use the digital field for? Once we expand it from the inside, we'll be able to basically, at a point, have it surround Japan. But that's only a theory. I would need time to set that up. Fair point. David Shield's only a pawn for the meantime. So what are you going to do with him after? You're done, Ice Devimon. I'll put him on ice. Eh, nice pun. I know, I thought it was funny. As they walk around and talk some more. As we just go back to... We go to the heroes meeting. As the heroes are contemplating on what to do. We have to find these villains. Who knows what they could create with David Shield. As a lot of heroes are talking... Yeah, they could create some dangerous items. Or some weapons. Or destructive capabilities. As they're contemplating. So. I may have an idea where they went. It'll take a few days to track them down, unfortunately. We also found a trace. On I Island. That's still fresh. So one of them may still be there. Huh. So we do two investigations. That seems like the reasonable choice. Well, we know David Shield is here in Japan. So, I'll stay with a couple of the top tier heroes. As it seems Antilamon is the ma ma most of a threat. As some of the other heroes head to I Island to find this other Digimon. They call themselves. It's probably Ice Devimon that's there. Because there's only two of them. You're right. So Ice Devimon must be keeping an eye on Melissa Shield. As a few days had passed before the meeting. So we should get Melissa Shield out of there. As they all agree. As they contact Eraserhead and a couple other heroes that were there. We need you to get to Melissa Shield out of there. As we go to a room underground. Where Pokemon is sitting. As Machine Dramon is standing tall behind him. Oh, it seems it's time for the lockdown to happen. Oh, and Machine Dramon, you got full permission to cause chaos. Just hopefully they set up the digital field. So they're starting their investigation on Japan. As I hear the lockdown from a communication thing that I Island has gone to full lockdown. 
So they're trying to hurry to find Anti Lamon and David Shield. And we go back to them for a mere moment. How long until you get the digital field set up, David Shield? I have given you time. An hour. One more hour. You have an hour. Ice Demimo walks out. It better be done by that time. We go back to Puppet Mon and Machine Dramon. As Machine Dramon comes out from the ground, destroyed buildings. As he fires his cannons, destroying more of the area. As Puppet Mon is just laughing, watching the entire scene. As they are trying to get Melissa off the island, but with the lockdown, they can't do it. As Puppet Mon is just following where they're moving Melissa's shield, while Machine Dramon is causing all this havoc. You think you could stop me, heroes? Think again. The digital era will happen, and it will happen soon. As he fires his cannons once more, destroying more of the area. As Aizal will listen to this, the digital era? My allies, Antilamon and Ice Devimon, have already started the process. As Aristohead says, we need to contact the other heroes back at Japan. But then, Poetmon cuts off every communication to the island to Japan. I would like to see you try. As they tried calling, but nothing happened. They cut the communications. They. Yes, there's another Digimon here. They just destroyed the communication room and cut all communications. Who's the other one? I don't know. All, all, the only We only got a report that there was another one. <sighs> okay. Most of the tough heroes try to take down Machine Dramon. The rest find Melissa. As Melissa was roaming around. As she gets caught in a web of threads. Where do you think you're going, lady? As she looks around and sees Puppet Mon. I have strict orders to keep you here. So, that's what I'll do. As he's controlling her like a puppet. Messing with her. Ah, I just hope they get the digital field set up. As she looks over. The digital field? Oh, I might as well tell you this, since uh, you're going to be our captive for quite a while. So, the digital field is an area where us Digimon will be able to go in and out freely, with only one other person with the access to it. Of course, once it's set up, me and Machine, Machine Dramon will leave this place. And I think we'll be taking you with us. Most likely, anyway. Uh, it's either that or I end up killing you, as ordered. You won't get away with this. Uncle All Might will stop you. Oh, but last I checked, Antilamon could match his strength. Especially with Ice Devimon. Even if they found them, I think the digital field would be set up. As he looks up at... He looks at what seems to be a watch on Putmon's arm. Uh, yes, I was told to set a timer. And it looks like there's only 20 minutes until the digital field is set up. I wonder how you will be able to stop us once it's set up. As he laughs, as he hears heroes coming. Ah, heroes. As he runs away with Melissa. I can't let them catch you or get their, their hands on you. Just yet, I have to wait till David Shield finishes the process. As a lot of the heroes try to catch up with Puppet Mod. But Machine Dramon threw a blast right at their direction, covering Puppet Mon's escape. As Machine Dramon is just keeping the heroes busy, but after a while, he's all beaten up and on the ground. What do you think you're doing, Machine Dramon? Get back up! We need to stop them! What do you think I'm doing? As he takes a bite out of a building, absorbing the metal. As he regained his strength. 
much better. As the, as the heroes look on fear, did he just heal himself? I think he did. This is bad. We need to retreat. As they try to retreat, as Machine Dramon is just calling and doing destruction upon I Island. Where do you think y'all are going? I don't think I've had too much to eat yet. So the Machine Dramon keeps eating more of the metal. As Polymon looks at the timer, five minutes. Machine Dramon, we're out in five minutes. As Pipemon is on his back with Melissa's shield. Alright. Give me a second. As he fires his blasters again. Doing a lot of damage. And we go back to Antilamon. And uh, Ice Devimon. It seems the heroes had caught on to our location, Ice Devimon. We only got five minutes till it's set up. Hold them off until then. I will keep... Harry, and make sure David's shield is working. Alright, as Antilamon stands up and she walks out, as she sees several top heroes. Ah, it seems y'all came to stop us. Hand over Melissa's shield and turn yourself in immediately, and your sense will be lightened. Who do you think I am? I am Antilamon, a Digimon that will bring the digital era. And you heroes don't have a place in it. As she transforms her ac hands into axes and starts destroying the land and fighting the heroes. As Endeavor throws fire at her, as she blocks it with her arm, as All Might punches, setting her back a little bit. But she counters with a punch of her own, saying All Might flying. Do you think I would go down so easily? As then... A kick comes from behind her head, pushing her down. But she rolls and kicks Mirako away. I've learned from last time. As she moves quickly, taking out heroes left and right. With the only top ten really causing damage to Antilamon. As then she noticed a tendril come out of nowhere. Hit her and send her flying as she landed into a building. Uh, as she looks up and sees all for one. Auntie Lamont, do as you're told. Get Ice Devimon and eradicate All Might. As All Might looks at all for one. So you are the one behind this. As you say. As Auntie Lamont rushes at, is getting ready to rush. She appears ba behind all for one, hitting him and saying him flying. As Antilamon looks down and then looks over at her hand. <sighs> Ten seconds. As all for one presses something, as Antilamon gets electrocuted, <sighs> as she falls to the ground. You didn't think I had a backup plan, in case you betrayed me? Yeah, you must be stupid, Antilamon. I thought you were better than this. As Antilamon just laughs, That backup project of yours that you said would keep me in line expires in three, two, one. As Antilamon disappears. As... David Shield disappears. Ice Devimon disappears. Eri, Eri goes through as well. The heroes manage to rescue Melissa in the nick of time before Machine Dramon and Putmon were teleported to the digital zone. <sighs> as Putmon destroys the ground, irritated that they got Melissa. Man, they snuck up on us. Sorry, they grabbed Melissa. As he's talk she he's talking to Ice Devimon. It's fine. The area's been built and set up. As he looks over at David Shield. But it seems y'all arrived before Antilamon did. As Antilamon falls from the sky, hits the ground. 
as Pipemon looks up, what happened to her? As Airy rushes over to her. As Antilamon struggles to get up. Rest, Antilamon. You deserved it, after all. And as for you, David Shield, we may not have a use for you. But just in case, we'll keep you locked up. As he asks Pokemon to put David Shield in a cell. As they set Antilamon to rest. And Ice Devimon and Machine Dramon are going to talk while Eri is by the side of Antilamon. So, Machine Dramon, any idea, since you're probably the only one other than Puppet Mon and Antilamon that could probably build stuff, I could make Machine Digimon, but anything out of that is out of my territory. Alright. It says Antilamon could create any type of Digimon in this zone. We'll have to wait for her recovery. Because she's the one that will be expanding the digital plane. I understand that. As Puppetmon comes out. But we have to realize we can't always rely on Antilamon. She is seriously injured right now. We're just lucky the digital field cancels. And destroyed the implantation. Of all for one's device. Yes. That is good. But we've got some unfinished business to deal with in the real world. So work on any Digimon you can. The war between the digital world and the real one will commence shortly. As she walks over to Eri and looks over at her. Do you see now... What your people will do to people like us. They won't hesitate to take us down. As Eri remembers the kindness of what Antilamon gave her. As she, re she realizes that Ice Devimon is right. As her eyes dull in a bit. Let's take over the real world and expand the digital world. That's it, child. You're getting it now. All right, that will be the end of part four. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I've had a blast making this series.